Hi Sagittarius, welcome to How I Love Tarot. This is your October 2021 Money, Career and Finance reading. I have already pulled your tarot. Here we have sitting is the, uh, the Oracle deck that I'm using, which I believe is, um, I've forgotten. I've forgotten the name of it. Um, Magic, I think it's called Magic Tarot right here and then I'm clarifying with the regular tarot okay this deck in case you're wondering what is it called I don't know I'm in my juju Sagittarius sorry right what I have right here it, juju j-u-j-u psychic power all right what I have right here is your present position and if you don't resonate with this present position one of two things may be happening I'm a psychic and a medium, so I get information from the spirit world. Sometimes that information hasn't played itself out yet, and so you can't resonate with the current position. It doesn't even seem possible given where you are right now. However, if you look at the reading at the end of October or even mid-November, um, the present position should make sense to you. Now, if the present position doesn't make sense to you, no need to go on with the reading. Um, if when you come back to the reading, it still does not make sense to you, it means that this was not your reading, okay? And uh, so what I have here, you know, there's, there was an interesting energy coming out for you, Sagittarius, as I was shuffling the deck. One, um, the, the, the cards wouldn't move, right? There was a lot of... Um, they weren't jumping out like they usually do. Spirit world pushes them out. And uh, the other thing that I noticed is that there was no pentacle energy or hardly any. The energy that is coming out for the month of October in money, career and finances has to do a lot with your, hi your higher knowing, your higher power, your instinctive nature and communication. Here we have the card Autumn, Watchtower of the West. And to clarify it, we have the Queen of Cups and we have the, um, we have the Ace of Swords. Uh, I'm just going to turn this to me, Sagittarius, so I can get the energy off of the cards a little bit easier. Spirit, can you bring forward what is going on in Sagittarius's present energy for money, career and finance? What's going on in their energy? What, why is Autumn here? Why is the Queen of Cups in... So this came out in the reverse position. Why is the Queen of Cups in the reverse position um, here to clarify? And why is the Ace of Swords here to clarify? And this came out in the upright position. So I do put the cards in a way that I know that they are in the reverse position, okay, in the holder. But I put it in the upright position so you know, uh, you can look at the card um, when I haven't turned it away from you and you can follow along. Spirit, can you bring forward the information? What's going on with Sagittarius? Why, why is this energy stagnant? What's going on here? That's, sorry, Sagittarius. God, I hate to start the uh, reading off with a negative there. But that was the energy, right? Because uh, the spirit world will show the, the how your energy is with even the shuffle, right? So when the cards go flying out, um, there's a lot of there's a lot of momentum in your energy and movement and, and malleability in your energy. When the cards don't pop out, um, I even had to change decks for you. It means that you're going through some kind of stagnation. So there's some type of, um, you know, look at this spirit. Can, is that Sagittarius that that happened for? They're bringing back the last reading that I did for you, which was a general reading and i think it's you but they're saying the reference again of there's a change of season in your life and the change of season is going to bring in it's going to take out the old completely it's going to get rid of the old and there's going to be a rejuvenation and regeneration however uh, this process feels like it begins now in the month of October. It feels like the things that you are, um, it's not like even that you are letting go of it. It's kind of like it's happening. It feels like it is just, you know, um, things that don't belong are not going to be there anymore. Um, 
Spirit wants me to talk about spending. So there's going to be spending, things that you have been spending money on for those of you that, you know, Sagittarians, you know, you're kind of in two categories. Again, with this, this kind of like black and white energy here, where some of you um, are spenders and some of you are, you know, like they're, they're showing me like a spectrum of the way that you spend money, Sagittarius. So some of you can identify with kind of like having a loose, loose fingers, right? Butter fingers when it comes to money, right? Money just slips through your hands, meaning that you spend money on luxuries, on items to uh, self-soothe, to um, make you feel better, to treat people in your life, right? To show them how you love them. But there are other Sagittarians that are very fiscally frugal. And that's what I mean by very black and white in this energy. So I see here that all Sagittarians, whether you be loose fingered with the money or whether you be somebody that really is quite frugal and doesn't spend money and you save and you know where every penny is going, it does show here that there is going to be cutbacks in how you budget your money. It looks as if you can feel everything shifting. It looks as if you want a, like you're, you're anticipating this new season of your life ahead of you. It almost feels like a new chapter of your life. That's how kind of big this feels in your energy as I'm reading it. Spirit, tell me more about the uh, Queen of Cups here and the Ace of Swords and why this is clarifying um, their present position. It shows here, Sagittarius, that um, there is a lot of uh, dreams swirling around in your mind. And um, you're not really one of the dreamers when it comes to the zodiac sign, Spirit is saying. You're more of a get up and do. You're more practical in your energy. You're more logical in your energy. But there is a sense of dreaming and this beautiful energy of fantasizing and looking at all possibilities in regards to things that you would like to take place and bring in, in regards to abundance. I do see here um, travel. I do see that there is travel. Spirit, tell me more. What 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 is going on here? Tell me more. Yes, so I do feel here that you, um, also here that you're in an energy of uh, a lot of uh, your energy switch is switching up um, Sagittarius and uh, it's switching into a very um, kind of coming out of the work energy coming out of the career energy I'm not saying that you're going to leave your careers or do anything like that um, I don't know maybe for some of you you are but that's not what it feels like Spirit is making me feel here for some of you, it's business. There is new business ventures that you want to participate in, but that is not coming out that strongly for, oh, hold on, it is, hold on, hold on. Spoke too soon, Sagittarius. Some of you, it's business. Yeah, some of you are actually walking away from your career. Now, this is a money, career, and finance reading. Let me remind you, this is a tarot reading. You're not supposed to take advice from this reading. This is supposed to just validate uh, where you are in your life. And uh, I am not giving out advice, right? I'm not telling you to leave your career. I'm not validating that you should leave your career. You decide what you're going to do, especially when it comes to money, career, and finance. But some of you are walking away from, um, from your careers. Some of you are going full force into a business. Some of you are um, uh, have been dreaming about this for a very, very long time. Some of you have been working behind the scenes on this. And so this is what this representation is of all these things kind of leaving your life and, and your life changing dramatically. There is a dramatic shift in your you know, this is a money, career and finance reading and I'm going very, very high level here because the spirit world is making me go high level. So it can apply to different Sagittarius is Sagittarians. <laughs> so um, 
you are a force to be reckoned with currently. You are very driven. You are very dedicated. You are very focused. You are, um, you are really coming in. You're, you're, you're very much leveling up Sagittarius. Uh, it feels as if you know the direction you want to go in and no matter what, you're going there. You're going there no matter what. And that could be what you've been dreaming about. That could be kind of expanding new horizons for you and whatever that means in your life. But you are going with the flow. This change that's happening in your life, you are moving with it. So that is, um, it feels like a very, very beautiful energy. Now, I just want to point out something else here. Spirit, can you tell me more about um, this communication that I'm, no, go on. All right. Bloody hell. Sagittarius, the spirit world just stopped me. <laughs> no, carry on, they said. Well, I'll ask later if it doesn't come up in the reading. There's, there's a very strong energy of communication and I'm trying to understand what it is in your money, career and finance reading. Um, let's go into your challenge and then I'll go into your strength. So here we have incubation. And this kind of reinforces the present position. Here we have the tower moment, once again, reinforcing the uh, present position. And then we have the three of coins. Now, the tower is in reverse and the three of coins is in the reverse position also. Sagittarius, if you can hear my dog barking, I apologize. Those of you that leave nasty comments about my dog barking in the background, you know what? Change the channel because I'm going to block you. Um, he's an old man. Don't leave nasty comments about my dog. Um, anyway, so uh, in your challenge, Spirit, can you bring forward what's going on here? So why is it sitting in their challenge, but it, it feels so positive in their present position? Okay, I understand. So... Um, What's going to happen in the challenge position is that you're, you're completely kind of, okay, so you've got the tower here, okay, but it's in reverse. And so for some of you, the tower moment is not happening in um, October, it just begins. And what the tower moment represents, or the tower in, in tarot represents is big changes in your life they're not necessarily negative in fact i never look at the tower card as negative i really think it is um a beautiful thing when things change in your life so dramatically because it allows for an incredible amount of growth and opportunity now for some of you it will be painful um, and difficult because you don't like change i don't think many people do like change but but it's sitting in the reverse position and it's sitting with the incubation card. So it looks like it's a slow process and not something that you can't handle. Here with the three of coins um, in the upright position, it shows here that during this time period, the challenge is, remember how I said that everything is changing and it's just changing. You're not doing anything to force that change. It is just happening. And so uh, what's happening in your challenge position is that there is nothing you can do to add assistance to this situation. There, there, you, you know, I told you I was picking up that kind of stagnant energy in the beginning. And what that means is there's no mobility. There's, there's no like, oh, let me do this and let me make this decision. I mean, you can do that if you want, but it's not going to go anywhere. And so there's kind of like this um, lull period, lull, L-U-L-L. And it is, uh, it is hibernation, right? So you're going into hibernation. This could last about three to four months. So even though this is an October reading, this change that I'm talking about, the winds of change, uh, God, they're bringing back that song again um, by the birds, um, turn, turn, turn. Uh, Spirit, was that, was that Sagittarius's reading? Um, look at your general reading. Uh, they're bringing back your general reading and, and they brought that song up in the, I believe it was you, in the general reading spirit. Was it Sagittarius? Yes, they're saying. Okay, so um, things are changing. 
uh, it's nothing that you can do and your it's not like your hands are tied it's just that growth needs to take place certain things need to come into alignment and so that is a challenge for those of you that want things to happen a little bit more quicker than they're happening but if you think about the kind of scheme of time I don't think three or four months of dramatic change in your life is is long however you know it's easy for me to say I'm not in the middle of it you are so um, you know the challenge is is that you want things to go quicker than they're going but they're paced and and I do see uh, uh, three four months of whatever this is here in the strength position this came out extremely powerfully spirit do you want to go ahead and tell me about that communication now because here it is right we've got power um, uh, which is hat power and then we have to to clarify we have the eight of wands in the reverse and we have the page of cups in reverse spirit can you tell me why the eight of wands is in the reverse and the page of cups is in the reverse in regards to uh, Sagittarius's strength in money career and finance for the month of October um, your strength is uh, that you lay low your strength is there's going to be some turmoil around you and it and it's not you it's it's kind of like if you work for a company it may be the company if you are seeing i don't know clients in some way it may be disruption within them if you're seeing you know like like um paying clients or something like that if you're in business you know it may be contracts kind of being delayed and that kinds of thing so did I even say that in English? Kinds of thing, kind of thing, um, Sagittarius. So it looks like there's delays here in your strength, but it's sitting in your strength. And so you laying low in the month of October is, is a huge strength. You not participating in any of the um, concerns around you is going to allow you to step into that very, very powerful instinctive nature of yours and to draw upon your strength your kind of higher knowing your higher wisdom and you're you're really focused sagittarius you're super focused what's that about spirit why this what's that what is it that they're fo you're focused on your future you're focused on your future you know what it is you know what it is Sagittarius what they just showed me here it's kind of like your whatever's going on in your work or business or whatever and this is for some of you right this is not for all of you but it's like whatever's going on all the nonsense all the kind of red tape all the bu bureaucracy is not important to you because you're so focused on your future and you're so focused on what it is that you want um, what it is that you want to give your energy to your loving energy to to create abundance to create um, uh, happiness to create joy that it's like you can't be bothered it's like white noise it's it just it's just not you're not just not engaging it and that is your strength in the month of October it's it's this kind of like you know what uh, either way I'm daydreaming about my future and you guys fight amongst yourselves so you've got <laughs> you've got very i mean it's really funny to see it psychically it's it's just this you know it's kind of like you're physically there you know whatever environment that is that you make money in it's like you're physically there but your mind is somewhere else and your mind is on your future your mind is on your dreams your mind is on on um a beautiful loving energy here your your mind is on um you're really even though physically in your physical life there is not movement right so so you have to wait to play for things to play itself out internally and emotionally there's a lot of movement huh look at that there's a lot of movement within you so what that you know sorry i'm just getting like like when i pick it up sagittarius i'm sorry i'm i can feel it and now i I'm, i forget that i'm in a tarot reading and i've got to explain it to you um so what this feels like let me just turn the camera a little bit so you can see it 
So what this feels like is um, that you are in the beginning of something. You're in the beginning of this dream. You're in the beginning of exploring your emotions in a very, very different way. You're in the middle of some of you, there is such a new start in your life. Some of you, this, this represents a total shift of consciousness, which could be baby, right? So for some of you, there is a baby or a grandchild coming into your life, new baby, right? Like pregnancy. Um, but for others of you, it has to do with new life, your new life, right? So it really, ha it just, just feels like a new chapter coming in. It feels like you are humbled. It feels like you are um, open and aware and receptive. And I can't say that about you all the time, Sagittarius, because you're a fire sign. So um, that, that emotional energy is very different in your expression, but it's almost like you're expressing yourself like a water sign here. Do you know what that means, Sagittarius? What it means is that like the water signs like Pisces and Cancer and um, even Aquarius that I, f I consider a water sign because of the way that, that I see them psychically, they're able to be so expressive with their emotions and run with their emotions. You're very practical and logical. So even though emotions arise within you, you are not one to run away with your emotions. And what's happening in um, your strength position in the month of October is you're feeling your feelings and you're running with them. You're, you're, it's like all this stuff is happening around you logically in money, career and finance, in your business or, or clients or work or whatever it is going on in the environment where you bring money in. It's like there is something offsetting your experience that's really, really positive, really, really beautiful energy, very, very exciting energy. Um, and again, uh, Spirit just said incubation again. So it's not something that is, it's like something that's beginning and something that will, you know, because if it's a pregnancy, like, um, I don't know, your grand, it's your first grandbaby, maybe, right? I mean, that's nine months of incubation in that belly, right? That, that bun's cooking in the oven for nine months. So um, that's what I mean. Like the, throughout your reading, there's this kind of waiting period, even for the good things, even though you're going to feel the excitement, you're going to feel the happiness, you're going to feel all of that. It, you're still waiting for it but it's a happy kind of a wait. Like when you do find out, let's say that you're pregnant or you're having a grandchild, it's a happy kind of a wait. You're excited and it just builds and builds and builds. Here in the um, uh, outcome, we have con cauldron, containment. And to clarify, we have the temperance in the upright position, the five of swords, actually this came out in the reverse. I put it in the wrong thing there. Um, so this came out in the reverse, Five of Swords. I remember that. Look at me remembering stuff, Sagittarius. Um, Five of Swords and the um, Nine of uh, Coins. Spirit, tell me what's going on in the outcome here for uh, Sagittarius. What's happening for Sagittarius in the outcome? So, um, so I kind of just went into it. Uh, so there's going to be some experiences that you're having Sagittarius where there's a waiting period. But like I said, it's a happy anticipation. It's a happy waiting period. It's a beautiful energy around you. There's a passion within you and a passion around you. You are um, in your element as a fire sign right now. Very, very, very passionate right now. Again, look at this in every single position. Uh, that I read for you, we have waiting and it's in the outcome to temperance, which means divine timing. And here we have the five of swords and it shows the end of conflict. So this shows the end of internal conflict in your life about anything. It shows the end of, um, so even though you're going, it's very strange this reading because I'm kind of talking in contradictions. So even though uh, you're going through a season of, of like, um, you're going through a season of, uh, oh my Lord, what is that word? Um, begins with H, uh, hibernation. 
So even though it's going to take like three or four months, whatever this is, that this big shift that's happening, uh, it's you're out of the conflict and you're no longer internally conflicted. Um, for those of you that are not in conflict, what it shows here is that you have been... Um, here it shows with the Five of Swords in the reverse is that you're, you have been dealing with some real difficulties in, uh, in your situation. And for a long time, these difficulties have been quite challenging. And this has to do with other areas of your life that caused you pain and suffering and uh, a lot of conflict. And as I, uh, Spirit just said Christmas, bloody hell, we're in October, Spirit. Uh, Spirit says, as we come into Christmas with you, there is an, a tremendous amount of uh, joy and the conflict releases itself or it is released. You're not doing nothing. It just releases. You, you've just, I don't know, Sagittarius, you take a happy pill. Bloody hell. This is like really beautiful energy here. And here we have the nine of coins. Oh, for those of you that take happy pills, I didn't mean that offensively. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Um, so nine of coins, uh, Spirit, can you tell me more about the nine of coins in the outcome? Okay, so um, you've got it to give. You Abundance is coming in your life in all forms. And um, it is because of your, how you deal with money it is because where your focus is and it is because of the direction you want to go in. For, so for those of you that have been spending frivolously and you're one of the spenders, I do feel all of that stopping. For, for those of you that are um, investors, I do see you investing more. For those of you that are very frugal with your money and watch every penny, I see this kind of... Um, uh, like what, what's the word um cumulative effect with how you have dealt with your money so i do feel like um like you have a lot of ideas with how you want to move forward with your money and i do feel like you can make decisions where you can bring more money to you now, for those of you that are really into gambling and the lottery and Publishers Clearinghouse and whatever the hell it is, I am not talking about that. I am talking about those of you that work for a living or have investments or have a business. I'm not talking about windfalls. I'm not talking about going to bingo and winning $10,000. I'm not talking about going to Vegas and hitting the jackpot. So, so please be aware of that. This shows here that um, you're being wise about your money and therefore you're able to attract more money coming in. Uh, Spirit wants me to bring it to talk about the pentacles in regards to emotions as well. So right here, what's going on with this card is your emotional energy, which again, this is not usual for a Sagittarius reading, um, but your emotional energy is there. Um, it, it's kind of driving what you're doing. And because it's driving what you're doing, it's really kind of shifting you and it's opening up your eyes to new possibilities and uh, new experiences. I feel a lot of happiness and a happy energy around you. Even though there's this stagnation or this waiting period or incubation, I really feel a lot of happiness um, in front of you and around you and it's almost like, like when I when they show it to me it's like this vast beautiful you're, you're like at the edge of a cliff and and every like when you drop off the cliff you drop into happiness you drop into um a bottomless pit of sunshine bloody hell sagittarius i need to hang around you um bottomless pit of sunshine that has never come out in a reading. <laughs> All right, Sagittarius with your bottomless pit of sunshine. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Check out your um, general reading and I will talk to you soon.